Now let's look at one of the tags, p. p is a paragraph. When you write a document, you have a paragraph. It's the same thing. p represent paragraph. How do you write it? Well, this is how you write it. You have angle brackets around it, around the tag name. And that's what's called opening tag. And you're going to have another tag similar in the end called closing tag. Now this tag has an extra slash. This only goes in a closing tag. And in the middle, you put your content. Whatever goes in the paragraph, you put it right in the middle. And that makes it a paragraph. And the whole thing is called an HTML element. Got it? Opening tag, closing tag, and content in the middle. Now, not every tag should have content in the middle. For example, BR is another tag. It means break, a new line. It does not have any content. So you have an opening tag and a closing tag. Do you really need two tags if there is no content? No, you don't. So this is how you write it, tags. So here you have a slash before the tag, and in this shorthand you have slash after the tag. Tags are not case sensitive. Capital P equal to lower P doesn't really matter. But always use lowercase. In this video, I will be covering why we should learn HTML, what is HTML, what is a tag and an attribute, how to create a HTML file, what are attributes within a tag. Before learning anything, one should know why we should learn it and what the purpose does it serve. HTML combined with CSS and JavaScript are the basic technologies behind designing a web page. Learning HTML will be beneficial in many areas such as web design, block creation, editing HTML supported articles and never again getting intimidated by looking into HTML tags. But mainly HTML is used to design or develop web pages. Do you know that every website we visit online is written in HTML? Now you may be asking a question that can I get started with my career in web design if I just know just HTML? The answer is no. You should know some additional stuff such as CSS, JavaScript as well. But HTML is the foundation stone where everything else is laid upon. Is HTML a programming language? No. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. As the abbreviation says, it's a markup language rather than calling it as a programming language. The specification for HTML was created by Tim Berners-Lee and was released to the public in the year 1993. The recent version of HTML is called as HTML5 and was released in 2008. HTML5 intends to improve the support for the mobile devices, handling multimedia and better readability for browsers and humans. Tag Tag is the basic building block of HTML. They are also called as HTML elements. A HTML document is a set of tags. Tags can include child tags. Tags can have siblings also. Tags can have their own attributes. Tags are case insensitive. Tags start with a less than symbol and ends with a greater than symbol. If you start 
about a tag, you should end that as well. Start tag and end tag has the same name, however. As you can see in the above syntax, the end tag has an additional forward slash after the less than symbol. Such tags are called pair tags and they always have an end tag as well. Examples of such tags are HTML tag, head tag, body tag, title and many more. We will be covering these as the course goes on. There are certain tags that doesn't need an end tag. These tags are called self-closing tags. Examples for self-closing tags are image tag, break tag. HTML specification is predefined by an organization called W3C. They predefine the HTML tags as well to be used. Tags and attributes in HTML. In the example given here, all the tag names are highlighted in blue. HTML, head, title, script, body, p, a are all tags. In this example, the HTML tag encloses all other tags. So, it's the parent to all other tags in the HTML document. The head tag is a child to the HTML tag and is a parent to title and script tags. Title and script tags are siblings to each other. Similarly, the head and body tag are siblings to each other. Tags can have any text enclosed within the start and end tag. Within HTML tags, you can see certain text highlighted in lighter blue color. These texts are called attributes. In this example, SRC is an attribute to the script tag and app.js is the value of the src attribute. Similarly, href is an attribute of the a or the anchor tag and the google url is its value. Attributes provide special meaning to the html tags. Attributes generally come in name value pairs. Creating a html file. Before jumping into creating a html file using a text editor, let's try to understand now, how to create a HTML file? A HTML file ends with a .html file extension. A HTML file can be created using a simple text editor such as Notepad. In your system, you can create a normal text file and then rename it to .html will get a HTML file created. Then you can edit the file using your Notepad. However, do not use document editors such as Word to create HTML files as the content you say will be encoded differently. There are a lot of other advanced HTML editors available in market such as VS Code, Atom, Notepad++, etc. Using these code editors will help in writing code faster. It will also help in syntax highlighting, autocomplete, bracket matching and many more. When selecting an editor, Use your own discretion. Throughout our course, I will be using VS Code as the code editor. You are free to choose an editor of your choice.